Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create progressively larger dots along a spiral path in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've created a new document, 800 pixels wide and 800 pixels high. And we're just going to zoom in and just left click and hold on where the line segment tool is and you'll scroll down to see the spiral tool. So you can left click anywhere on the artboard and you will see that it creates a spiral. You can hold down the command or control key and adjust the distance between each line within the spiral or you can hold down the alt key and increase and decrease the number of lines that make up the spiral altogether. So if we go for, let's just add a few more, something like this and just let go once you're happy with your spiral. And let's just give this a black stroke for now. And what we're going to do is zoom in and we're going to select the ellipse tool and just left click and hold shift to draw a very small circle. Now let's just swap the fill and the stroke. So we have a solid black fill and no stroke. And we're then going to position this small circle on the very tip of the inside of the spiral. And you can go into preview mode, that's command or control Y. And just make sure that the center point of your circle lines up as close as you can with the tip of the spiral. Once you've done that, let's come out of preview mode and you can select this small circle. Just drag it over and hold Alt to create a copy. And we're going to increase the size holding Shift so it stays proportional. Zoom in again and again let's go into preview mode with Command or Control Y and position this larger circle on the other outside end of the spiral. Let's just move that tip into position so we have our spiral and on the inside tip we have our small circle and on the outside tip we have our larger circle so let's just select the spiral and remove the stroke for now if we go into preview mode we can still see that there is a line a path that is visible and what we're going to do is just left click and hold shift to select both of our circles just the circles and not the spiral go up to object down to blend and select blend options so the orientation we're going to select a line to path that's the one on the right and the spacing can be whatever you like but for this tutorial we're going to select specified steps and I'm going to specify let's say 30 steps then if I go to object, down to blend and select make. What it's doing is it's taking the smallest circle and the largest circle and creating 30 steps in between that. So the circle will increase 30 times progressively between these two circles. So that looks a bit strange, but if we select everything, so the spiral and our circles, go to object down to blend and select replace spine you'll see that these circles now run along the spine the path of our spiral and we can actually drag over this to select it go to object blend and blend options just tick the preview box and we can then adjust the number of steps so we could set this to 50 and you'll see that it updates we can set this to 60 and click OK. And then what we can do is we can zoom in. This is all one object now, so as you drag it, it will move together. But we can double click on that very first circle, the small circle. As you'll see, we've gone inside the blending group here. And if we hold down Shift and Alt, we can scale it down towards the center and it will update all the other circles. 
So we can make this one a little bit smaller as well. This is the larger circle that we created. And you'll see that all of the other circles update as well. And we can increase the size of our spiral like so. And there we go, that's how you can create progressively larger dots along a spiral path in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.